I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations and today we are going to be wire wrapping up a mess. But just give me a sec to figure out, there it is, figure out how to get this pulled up on my tablet. No, not power off. I keep getting the power button confused for the uh, rain button apparently. Hey comatose, how's it going? Also making sure that I'm in live chat and not top chat on both devices. There we go. Hey, Erica. Got some piping hot, fresh coffee. First cup of the day, by the way. I don't even know who I am anymore. Mmm. Ooh, that good though. Hey, Jennifer. How are you doing? So we have, can't wait to tell y'all what we got in store for you today. It's just off screen here. And I can't wait. Hey, Christina. Ooh, check your email, Christina, about your uh, shirts. The super durable shirts. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'm on my way. Are y'all ready to get crafty today, though? Like, really? I'm pretty ready. Hey, it's a band. How the heck is it? How's it going? Going to get my food and put you onto my telly. That sounds awesome. Okay, so I've been having, I'm not going to lie to you, a rough day. Um, For no one's fault other than entirely my own, just bumbling into things and being like super sassy, I guess. But I was trying, Rhonda, well, thank you. <laughs> How's it going? I still can't tell if that's a pear or an avocado, but I don't care. I love it. Um. Yeah, it's been, it's been not the easiest of days and I was trying really hard to get my life together and like get the house clean and it just was not working. So Randy was like, you know, we haven't left the house in like two weeks except for to go to the post office or for a waddle at like 11 p.m. Let's go out to eat. And so we went and we ate way too much at our favorite restaurant, Misarcos, which is amazing. So... I am chock full of dairy products mostly. <laughs> hey Silver, how's it going? Kit, it's so good to see you. Hey Paulette, had to wait till commercial ended. Gross. <laughs> hey Patio. Thank you so much Rhonda, that just that tickles me pink. Okay, we have, let me get the tripod set up. I don't use this thing. Um, Remember when we used to make good content? <laughs> Me neither. Um, but no, really. Uh, remember when we used to do the wire wrapped, like, that? hey, yes, Christina. Um, remember when we used to do the wire wrapped baubles, but they were resin? We are re-releasing that tutorial kit, but with glass this time. We have a very limited stock of them at this moment. We're kind of testing it out to see. So if you guys want to be in with like the first wave of the test group for the wire wrapping, we have six of them listed up on the website. Hey, welcome. It's the weekend. Enjoy. Well, thank you so much. I've not been able to catch one of these in a long time. It has been a hot minute. I hope, I hope you've been doing well. But this is a little example of what the kit looks like. And it used to, again, if you guys remember, we had, we would actually hand spool just enough wire for the project. Well, now you get full spools of wire. Now, and we can't always guarantee the color of wire or the color of baubles, but this is what we're working with right now. So you're actually getting this silver plated silver or silver plated titanium tone in 18 and 28 gauge for in the kit as well as because we were, we wanted it to be like a deal like if you other than like if you went and like specifically bought all the separate things off of our website to make the kit we wanted it to be a deal for you to get the kit so we have these are two of the examples of the baubles that we'll be putting into the kits and I don't know if we're going to be putting in anything else yet, but that's kind of, that's the gist of it. So again, if you guys are interested in um, trying out that kit and letting us know what you think, we do have six of them up for sale on the website, but I'm going to be revisiting that tutorial today in the live stream. So I'm going to go ahead and, ooh, 
get this turned around. Maybe. There we go. And there's the da -na -na, da -na -na, chicken. Hey! I'm on the way. Making sure my phone sound is off. It is. It's perfect. Oh, how's everybody doing today? Hey, Kaima. Hey, Beth. Ooh, I really do. I do really like how that one came out as well. Do, 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 do. I'll be right back there. Grab some pliers. And it's sounding like it's time to WD-40 all the chairs in the house again. This one's all squeaky. So yeah, we're going to be wire wrapping. Let me bring this down just a little bit. That'll be good. Do, 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 do. But yeah, I thought it'd be really cool to bring some higher quality materials and bring those uh, project kits back. Because if those are well received, I'd really like to do, like one of the ideas for a kit was um, to have a spool of like 20 gauge wire and... Um, like probably 20 and 18 gauge wires and then like a strand of beads and just have the written tutorial for like just doing a basic bead link and then a wrapped bead link and then a bead link with twists and spirals and then um, also teach how to make your own ear hooks and S clasps and so that way from that project you could be making earrings or you could be making bracelets or just like a really I just want to try my hand at wire wrapping project. Um, ah, right on, Diane. How are you doing today? Hey, sounds. This is wire wrapping is my favorite. Excellent. So we're going to start by pulling off two arm spans of our wire. And this is an older spool. That's why it's mostly used up already. And this is a 28 gauge. I'm gonna find the middle of it. And then two 20 inch, sorry, I'm holding it in my mouth. Give me a shot. I actually wanna do a level up. So, oh, I may not have enough wire though. I do need more hands comatose. <laughs> uh oh, time to call Paralyzer. I'm all out of my 18 gauge. <laughs> okay, so. Okay. So, the original tutorial is like the, I wouldn't consider this really a beginner project, but um, the original tutorial would most definitely have been a more beginner than what we're going to be doing here, because I'm going to be doing this with four wires. Mm -hmm. And I have two longer wires and two shorter wires as well. But really, it kind of seems like they all just came out different lengths. So, we're just... Where does this fur even come from? <laughs> like, seriously. Hey, Kelly, how's it going? <laughs> hey, Cricket. Okay. Oh, my goodness. I just need a minute. <laughs> this freaking wire is freaking me out, man. Ooh, there's a hummingbird. I'm going to drink some coffee. Oh, that is good stuff. Hot bean juice right into the bloodstream. Very, very good. Okay, so I'm going to begin now. I'm going to find my two longest wires. And if this goes well, I may actually include it in, um, the dog keeps stomping on the cat. I may make a written tutorial for it. Hey Janice! 
Okay. <laughs> normally, I'm, I'm just going to say normally I don't have this much trouble, but trying to fit everything in between all of the, the desk and the camera, like I've got like a foot of space to function here. So look, give me a sec. Hey, doggy. Yeah, you are a good boy, huh? So hard being a good boy all time. All day. All day, good boy. I'm gonna see if he'll let me snake the camera around. <laughs> oh, he's a good dog. He said, no, don't look at me. I'm just a puppy. Don't look at me. Okay. And now Z's upset because nobody's paying attention to him. <laughs> okay, I'm done messing with the camera for a couple of minutes at least. Hey, Droma. And to type and ended up on one of your vids from several years ago. <laughs> right on. Yes, and we are using this teardrop cabochon. Do, 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 do. Hey, love, how's it going? We are wire wrapping because we are debuting. We're kind of, well, we're guinea pigging on y'all. Is what we're doing. We have yeah. six. You okay? What? Did you just take trash from the dog? Oh, Ember. <laughs> <laughs> we're debuting a new tutorial kit on our website um, that is like the 2.0 version of our old wire wrapped bobble tutorial and I'm doing a slightly more advanced version of that original tutorial today so whoo actually completed a sentence okay and at this point I don't even care what wire I'm grabbing I just grabbed two of them just stay there stay back I tell you <laughs> Um, and we're going to get them more or less lined up, but I want to begin with making the bail. So my wires are all wonky. That's okay. <laughs> so anybody who's like, wow, are you making it look so easy? It's like, no, it's not easy. This wire's a bunch of baboons. It's horrible. <laughs> okay. Hey, Malika. Ooh, here it's past midnight. Get some sleep. Two, three, four, five. Let's do, yeah, five. Five or six. Nice round numbers, both of them. And then I'm going to move this down. Ah, right on, Rhonda. Do, 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 do. And from here, we're going to be doing a figure eight weave. And this is... So far, nothing is different from the original tutorial, but it's about to change. So we're doing, there's one, two. I'm going to try to zoom in. I don't know how well that's going to work in a live stream. So if it's super duper ultra pixelated, sorry. <laughs> we may actually release a actual video tutorial of this as well. We're just prototyping here today. So I'm going to do a couple renditions, or a couple repetitions, rather, of this figure eight weave, which in our written PDF, which Pastor Vaughn, I think, did a really good job on, um, it breaks it down really nicely. So we've done about five repetitions of this now. And then from here, so if you can see how that wraps around the wire. Hey, Christina, I miss you. Mm. Okay, so from here, I'm going to take one of our other wires and set it off to the side. Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to zoom back out a bit because I don't want to just be constantly out of frame. And we are going to wrap twice around both of those wires. And it's a little, it's a little weird, that's okay. So now I'm going to come back through around all the way to this other side and we can go ahead and start training our wires to sit a little less chaotically 
and we're going to do two wraps. And then I'm going to sneak in this wire on this side. And we are going to wrap twice around both of those. There's once and twice. And then we're figure eighting through the middle. And we're going to go wrap, wrap twice around just one. And then wrap, wrap twice around the two. And that's when we figure eight back through the middle and wrap wrap around the one and then wrap wrap around the two is that making sense so far maybe yes all of the wire that we're using is round hey k oh goodness i hope you're healing up well from that <laughs> And so we can actually start doing a little bit of a V now. We have established enough of a stem. And we're just going to come through that middle right there and do one, two. Whoops. Bumping the tripod. I'm so sorry. And then one, two around both. And then coming from behind to the front and go in. One, ah, I keep it in the tripod. <laughs> Two, right on. Well, I'm glad to be helpful to you. Oof, Sabea, I wish I was coordinated enough to work with these flyers. This is this is no small feat, y'all. Um, <laughs> so if you find yourself getting frazzled and frustrated with it, behold, you two are human. This is Piratus. This is the bail part. One, two, around both. And it's really, the hardest part for me is getting it started. Once I get it started and the wires start staying put, I'm just going to come in and kind of smush everything just a little bit with my bent nose pliers. And you could, maybe instead of a 28 gauge, uh, you could use a 26 gauge. Now I'm doing one, two. And whatever weaving pattern you decide to do, just be consistent with it, because you don't have to do this specifically. Okay. And then, you know, I'm doing it, and I'm like, I don't even know if I like this. <laughs> oh, God, why am I like this? Um, <laughs> it's okay. We might like, I might like it better later. We'll see. So again, two around this one, and then one, two around both, and then one, two around this one, and then one, two around both, coming across there, if you can see. Ah, uh, thanks, Sparkies. How have you been doing? Oh, well, thank you, Lisa. But just know, like, right now, my fingertips hurt. Right here hurts. Like, this is, <laughs> um, th this is not easy. So, thank you. It's a huge compliment for y'all to be like, oh, you make it look easy. Because I'm like, it's not. My body hurts. <laughs> my, my body hurts and my brain is sad. <laughs> but thank you. It's not arthritis so much as, like, you can see where the wire has been biting into my, my tender flesh, y'all. <laughs> it's okay, though. It's a labor of love. Like, I don't, there's, I'm, I'm convinced that in every crafter, there's just a little bit of a sadist there that's like, ooh, yeah, my hands are gonna hurt so good. <laughs> or masochist, I guess. Do, 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 do. And just keeping that pattern going of one, two around both. And then we're going to cross over and do one, two around one. And then we're going to do one and two around both. And I try to think of it like... Well, the Olympics are going on. You know how they have the high and low bars and the gymnasts and they swing around it and they do the, 
and it's always kind of going in the same direction except for of course whenever they're super fancy and change directions but we're not doing that but just how it keeps going in that same direction so we'll just want to keep maintaining um that that same flow if that makes sense so like if my wire's exiting the top here then i'm just going to figure eight which means it's coming around on this side and then i'm going to bring it around on this side one two and then i'm going to continue all the way around do, 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 do. <laughs> i got you pirates a sadistic masochist right Right on. Things have been going really well. Hit and miss at stores will be fine. Mm. Do, 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 do. Okay. And now one, two. And for me, I'm not gonna lie, the bail is the hardest part. Like, cause it's so time consuming and so labor intensive. And I'm like, ugh. Cause like you have to make like this much of a bail it feels like. So that's why I'm doing it first is cause I use up my steam at the beginning doing the, the part that is my least favorite to do. Um, and cause otherwise I end up with a bunch of half finished pendants that it's like, well, I did the fun part. What's next? Oh, the veil? Gross. <laughs> but that's just me, though. There's two around both. And then coming around. One and two. And then around both. One, two. And then coming through. One, two, around one. Oh yeah, and this is like, I think a little bit more of a intermediate advanced um, tutorial for this kit. Um. But you can see now, hopefully, how that is coming out. And I think it makes for a pretty cool looking bale, I'm just gonna say. Okay, so we did two around one, so now I'm going to do the two around both. There's one and two, and then come around. One and two, around one, and then one and two around both. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Crocheting is my winter craft. Too dang hot here in Florida. The man handling yarn in the summer. I hear that, KJ. <laughs> Um, we just have one thin wire, but I started in the middle of it, which is why I still have this bit hanging unused off to the left. Hey, Tara, holy crap, how have you been doing? It's been like forever. <laughs> one, two, one, two, coming across. One, two, and one. Two. We are using 28 gauges are thin wire and 18 gauges are thick and these are the exact same wire gauges that will be coming in the bobble kits that we now have up for sale on our website. Oh, hey Kara, um, if you could actually send me an email with your new shipping info, I will get that updated for you, Kara. Because for some reason you can go in and update subscription like in PayPal and be like, okay, this is my new address, but it won't update it in our system, even though it's still PayPal. So, <laughs> so we'll get you taken care of. Um, I get all of my wire from parawire.com, but we also sell some parawire on our website. So I'm going to be super biased and tell you to go to Parawire because <laughs> they are the greatest. All right on. Oh, goodness. Well, have a great rest of your evening, Kay. And so now I actually think I'm going to add in just a little 
one, two. Because it's doing this thing where it's not quite gripping down the way that I want there at the top. Though, you know, as soon as I do that, I'm just going to stick to what we've been doing. That'll be all right. So sometimes if I undo a couple, I just scratch it out with my finger, straighten that wire back out. So it's kind of like a judging a pie half baked. Like it's you need to you need to see the project through the rest of the way. I don't know what's the there's a a saying for like reading a book half writ or I don't know. It, it's not done yet. <laughs> So I don't want to get ahead of myself and start changing a bunch of stuff here in the middle. I want to trust the process and see it through. So that's one, two around both, and then one, two around one, and then one, two, one. Two, and we're starting to get to where I'm going to start training it parallel and then back down. So I'm going to keep these two wires, sets of wire, a watched pot never boils, right? <laughs> um, I'm going to keep them parallel now. And then one, two, one, two, coming around town, there's one, two, and it's something that helps me is to kind of have the ends of my wire here, each kind of separated out a little bit. So I'm actually going to be shifted over to the side, that way you can see how I'm interacting with these wires because I feel like that can play a really big role in if you're having like difficulty with getting all your wires, like not getting the stuff crossed. So like I'm holding with my finger down here where I want my wire to end up being, and then I come around. Oh goodness, I'm running out of wire, y'all. Oh no. <laughs> ah! There's one, two, and then around both, one, two and then coming down coming up in between one two one two coming around one two one two i'm gonna punch it oh no tara oh i feel that though <laughs> okay, yep, we did the one, two, and then we're crossing over. And there's one, two, around one, and then one, two, around both. Now I'm going to do that on the other side again, but then we're going to start coming inward. Two and one. So from here now, I'm gripping where the wire weaving stops, and I'm going to just bend in, and then right here, I'm going to grip and bend in. And you could have it be nice and rounded like that, or you could do it very sharp, um, just whatever makes you happy. And then I am going to take this right here and whoop, kind of bend outward again. And that way, and you could, again, if you want very soft and organic looking lines, you can do it with your fingers. Or if you want something a little bit more accurate, pliers are a definite, 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 definite way to go. And that way you can just line up the sharp edge of your plier of where you want that bend to be and come in there. So, still a little wonky and weird, but it'll do. Okay, so we got one, two, and now from there we can still just pay attention to the ends of where I'm attaching things. One, two, 
and then one, two, coming across, there's one. Low-key panicking, I don't know how I'm going to join a wire in on this, you guys. Like, oh no. One, two... There's one and two, one and two. <laughs> That's our whole tutorial for today, by the way. Also, by the way, just one, two. If you follow it as a breathing exercise, we could all hyperventilate together. <laughs> um, from the beginning. So, if you can see here, we do two around one, and then two around both, and then weave it over. Two around one, two around both, weave it over. So there's one and two, and then one and two around both. Oh gosh, it's blurry. <laughs> And so then, when we first come over to the other side, we go one, two, around one, and then one, two, around two. Oof, that's so much work. It's okay, though. We can keep doing it. But like, oh, yeah, getting a little bit of a stretch. Oh my gosh, you've been doing this for 30 minutes already? Ooh, I'm already mouth breathing at the stupid one. <laughs> oh no, Tara. <laughs> you know, we have started doing a year of yoga over on the Vonster vlog for, um, for if y'all get stressed out by our crafting channel. <laughs> mm. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for joining me here today. <gasps> Rhonda, girl. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It just says it looks so nice and so complicated too. It's deceptive because I'm not going to say that it's not complicated, but once you get down, once you figure it out, it's fine. <laughs> like, ah, I hate it when people are like, no, you just need to figure it out. It's like, yeah, that's the hard part. <laughs> I'm watching hummingbirds again. They've been like biting each other up in the black walnut tree. Oh, and we've only got like maybe a foot of wire left. Ah. Hey, Carol. How's it going? Hey, pro, how's it hanging? One and two and one and two. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh, that's good to hear, Carol. Do -do -do -do. What even is that song? Because it's been in my head for like what oh, feels like 30. <gasps> okay, thank you, Randy. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. I'm on my way. Mitch! How's it going? One and two and one and two and to um slide down on the decline like this. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my pliers and I'm not squeezing on the core wires as much. I am just holding them enough that they'll catch the edge of our um 
of our 28 gauge wire that way I can just kind of smush it in a little bit and that's pushing it up the uh, up our core wires and then we can also get some solid little smushies did everything get all weird yeah but that's fine <laughs> oh Yvette that's so cool her first egg How'd you know I was in Carthage? Just smush it. Just smush it. So, yeah, I try to not cinch it down too tight, like too low on the wire. Wow. That's crazy. Is she an African gray or a macaw? And one and and two inch and one and oh terror. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so we did them both. So now we're coming in. There's one and two and two and two. I'm coming across like I am bound and determined to not have to add. Yeah, right, Sherry girl. It is time to switch to switch to 26 gauge. Faux show. And also, it can feel frustrating to be to like. It can feel like wasting wire sometimes, but like if you've been working and reworking a piece of wire, snip it off and try something fresh that hasn't been uh, Green Wing McCall, her sister, was about the same age when she made her first. Wow. Very cool. <laughs> oh, went around the wrong one. It literally got my wires crossed. Okay, so now from here, just to save on wire, um, I'm going to just do a figure eight on the center two. So we've got one, two, one, whoops, hitting the tripod, I'm so sorry, two, wow, those are some long livid birds, man, two, one, two, and so this is using up significantly less wire, so it's letting me actually get this little bit finished. One. Two. Da -da 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 -da. Ba -da -da. I have sold at like some different festival type stuff like where there like it wasn't Bonnaroo or anything but it was a bit of a music festival um it was pretty awesome like I'm just gonna say uh definitely definitely bring your own shade your own wind and your own water so I'm just gonna this right here that I've got clicked on next to me on low this fan will go for like over 12 hours so um and then we also bring like battery packs so that we can recharge it but having a fan having like um putting an additional sunshade tarp over your easy up or having it to where you can have like the sides come down to give you some shade is like so important and i mean really that goes for any outdoor street festival but just something about music festivals it's like it, it it can really sometimes the, you know, like if you're really indulging and enjoying yourself you might not notice how sunburnt you're getting or how overheated or how dehydrated so just don't because also music festivals are way more fun than street festivals because there's people dancing and there's music and it's just amazing so you can very easily forget that you know you have basic human needs that need met teach <laughs> Yeah, wear your mask. Do -da 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 -da. 
Got some gems with mosses, mushrooms. Oh, that'll be so cool. Or jello shots. You may actually, um, <laughs> I bet. Um, I don't know. You may need special licensing to sell jello shots, just depending. Oh no, horrible sunburn already. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. But uh, yeah, shade, shade, shade. Because also, customers will linger in your booth longer if it's shady and nice and cool and has a little bit of a breeze. And I also bring like a Jimungus, like hand fan that I got on Amazon for like 10 bucks um, for just in case I have to move away from my clip-on fan. Yeah, having a little mister for yourself can be really helpful too. Though sometimes if it's humid, um, misters can just be the worst. <laughs> no booth. So you just go do what you want. You know, you want soda, you want like whatever. Wow. Give that bread. <laughs> like, get it. Laissez faire. Oh my gosh, there's fires in Idaho as well. I hope everybody's all right. Mm hmm Okay, so we have done the deed, and it's blurry again. Yeah, it's no judgment here. Randy and I actually, we were bending like an anime convention one time and it was going horribly. So we went to Walmart and bought like the $1 boxes of Pocky and uh, like bought them out and then went and sold them in the dealer's room the next day. We needed money to get home. I was like, I will sell whatever to get home, you guys. Ooh. Oh, that's so cool, Tico. So now... I am just using, you could use a knitting needle or a pen or whatever, and I'm just folding this over. And that is where we will thread the chain. And now from here, we have the other end of our wire, and I'm going to split here in the back off in one direction and then off in the other direction just trying to keep that wire up next to itself ah uh, hey Mary thank you All right, actually for just a moment oh goodness Sparky do I have Hey, Wendy. Yeah. Could you bring me my laptop, please? Uh, what? My laptop. Yeah. Thank you. I forget how to do my own tutorials, you guys. I need to find the PDF. How do you keep the wrapped wires from separating when you bend the bail? Um the wrapped wires I, they kind of just hold themselves together like going through and smushing like smushing the weaving wire onto your wrapped wires can really help kind of lock everything into place um so that way whenever you bend things don't get all sort of distorted Set this that it's not gonna just die. Okay. Thank you, honey. <laughs> Sorry, I was just remembering that comment we had gotten, and I was like, "You disrespecting, bro?" Oh, well, I forgot. I gotta disrespect you. Yeah, disrespect. <laughs> okay. What did I do next? I made the bell. That's more making up the bell. More making up the bail. There we go. Oh my gosh, it's like a million degrees in here. Okay, so. <laughs> and it, it's not a finger thing. It's using your pliers to smush it. 
like metal will do what our hands never can or what would be difficult for our hands to just because we squishy meat suits okay so I would like to be able to join some different wires together. I'd really love to be able to get these what these front and back wires um to be joined. Like if we could get that um, merged together. So what I'm gonna do, even though we just bent them, I'm gonna bend them back. The center two wires that we were the last for us to weave on. Yeah, we're definitely going to be, this is the prototype. I'll be making a actual tutorial that's been edited and isn't blurry and doesn't have me changing my mind every 30 seconds. Um, but thank you guys for joining me here for the prototype today. Okay, so those last two wires, so the center coming out the back, I'm just going to Feed through towards the front. So now this side wire, I'm taking both of those. It's the outermost wire through here. And then those two wires, we're going to isolate off to the sides as well. And then these two wires, we're going to be joining together. Very cool. Okay. So from here, I'm just taking, sorry, my wire's hitting the tripod. I'm going to go one, two, around both. And then my absolute most favorite weave of all time, apparently, because I do it on every single project. Two, three, four, and five, around one. And if you find yourself, like, I'm really crunching down on my bail. If you find yourself smushing your work, um, go ahead and put the mandrel back in there. That way you're not smushing it. And then one, put the mandrel back. The mandrel back. <laughs> There's one, two around both, then one, two, three, four, and five. Hey Tim, how's it going? <laughs> Tamra, me too. Young Frankenstein. Four and five. So there, hopefully you can see. And what this is doing is this is actually binding some of the wires from the front of the bale and the back of the bale together so we don't have to worry about, um, you know, it splitting apart. And then we can just really bend some of these wires up and out of the way just to make our life a little bit more easier. Would you like to have a Roland Zahe? Werewolf. Werewolf. What are you talking about? Oh, I butcher it, but it makes me so happy. I just thought you wanted to talk like that. I'm easy. Why are you talking about <laughs> Four and five. And then one and two around both. And then one two, three, four, and five, and then one and two. This is probably the weave that I would recommend the most for people who, if this is your first time doing wire weaving. Uh, she'll live forever through her work. One, two, one, 
two, three, four, and five. <laughs> Froth and broken. Always punishing me for procrastination on my website because making stuff is more fun. Don't hate why. <laughs> oh, that struggle's real though. Hey, cat, how's it going? Two, three, four, and five. So, so far we've done that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven repetitions. Hey, Holly, how's it going? I'm doing really well, Kat. Okay, so I'm going to keep doing this. What were we at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's eight. One, two, I just stuck my hand in my coffee, three, four, five, right, Tico, everything great, just got my Mikey cabs, they're all so amazing, ah, oh, I'm so glad to hear that, Tim, so, so glad to hear that, two, I've lost count again, ah, <laughs> two, three, four, and five, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oof, that's only one more than what it was last time. <laughs> two, so I think that was ten? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, there, one, two, three, four, five, I lost count again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, that's fantastic, <laughs> ooh, all right on kit yes practice 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 we're at 11 so there's 12 one two three four five and then one two around both making 13 oof my little fingies oh <laughs> Ooh. I, I, I can't say this about, you know, being obviously biased, but I do recommend Groovy Cabs to literally everyone. They're so much fun. I've lost count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Ah! 13. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And also... Pro tip here, if your finger starts getting sore, just scooch it a little bit and it'll get sore there too. I think that was 14 that we just did. One, two, three, four. And five. <laughs> that is a lot of wires, Holly. <laughs> okay, I'll just count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. <gasps> what? Okay, and then back, just right there. Fifteen. Do you have a receipt printer or just rely on everyone giving you their email? Um, I don't know if you're talking to me, Kelly.
Right on, Kit. Definitely for, oh, for shows, for everyone. Okay, um, yeah, no, we never really provided people. We, we would sometimes, we had a receipt book and we would put them in, but ever since people started doing a uh, card with Square, we'd just uh, get their email address. Okay, so we have done 15 repetitions, and we still have quite a bit of wire left on this one. And today on Counting with Vaughn, you darn tootin'. Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to just actually fold this off to the side and continue with just a straight coil, which I'm going to get super weird with that. Uh, Beth, I'm so glad to hear that. Okay, so I'm bending everything away from just this one side so that I can cleanly, maybe, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit over, if I can. Oh no, I think I've reached the end of my tripod. Ah, and my phone's stuck. <laughs> the charging cord isn't long enough. Okay, so we're stuck right here. Hey, pretty bird. I see you. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, we'll just make a few coils and then smush it down. Okay. Remind me to plug back in in like an hour, maybe. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten. And then we'll give it a smush. Nice and even, hopefully. Oh, well, I, I hope it, pro, is that a good thing? <laughs> yes, making sure you have money saved for taxes. That is always a good idea. Okay. Because we could this might be a good one for... Let's try it. Hold on to your caps, everybody. We're going to spin this. It might be a good one because there's enough weight up top. Oh, this is going to save so much weight. Okay, it's working! <sighs> so much faster. And I can sit here and just watch the hummingbirds while it happens. Now, on ones like this one where it does have these longer wires, though, you best watch out for your eyeballs. Like, you only get so many of those for the most part. This is wire wrapping at its finest, you guys. Where you could get, like... <laughs> And it's working. It's just making the coil. Because, like, something like this, how could we put this into a drill and make it do that thing? But check it. It's coiling it up perfectly. I love it. Oh, no, Tim, don't be scared. I, I could wear eye protection, but, well. <laughs> I just go like this. <laughs> So coiling away, speed wrapping for sure. It's like you're going to slay the giant, right? Okay. Anyway, I'm going to make sure it's not layering over itself. I don't know if y'all can hear that, that wire cutting through the air. Okay. And there we go. Right to the end. Ah, that's my absolute favorite way. I don't know how many pieces I've saved what feels like hours cumulatively um, by just spinning it. <laughs> but, uh, it does the trick. So we're just going to smush that one down. And then we're going to do that same exact thing on the other side. But first, hey, baby, uh -huh. you ready to do a giveaway? Nope. You want me to do it over here? Sure. Okay. So, guys, 
and it keeps the tension. It does, like legit. Now you have to have enough weight over on the other side of your piece that it'll keep it kind of moving around, but I mean, that's blurry, but all that coil, it's just, are y'all ready for a giveaway? If we had left the link, which I hadn't, let me pull the link up for you guys. Um, it was our most recent shop update. Is the video that we need to all go leave a comment on? Just a moment. Um, where did that go? There it is, from the 16th. So I'm going to open up that video, if I can. Sorry, normally Randy does this for me. I'm a giant baby. How do I even find my live stream? Okay, there it is. What? <laughs> hey, stop laughing. I smack you, I smack you, I smack, smack. Smack you. But disrespecting me. Okay, this is the correct live stream, right? Hey, all y'all, want to tickle my like button? That way Google or YouTube will have mercy on me, maybe? <coughs> no, I did it. You did it? Yeah, can I have a hug, though? I'm a big girl, give me no, hugs. No, I got disrespect no, you. Hug. Disrespect ah! you. <laughs> I got you by the clothes. I'm not letting go. <laughs> You give me love, or I'm gonna make a scene. Ow! <laughs> no! Can I get hugs over here? Whoa, I got a disrespect. I got him anyways. Okay. No! Ah! Okay. Alright. Um, so I'm gonna paste Same. the link. Disrespect her. That's the video, the Good one boy. that I just shared. The link I just shared is um where you can leave a comment um no like straight up on i think it was last week's live stream somebody was like well maybe you could get your boyfriend to respect you next time and i was like just because y'all know randy like wtf where does that even come from like he doesn't re he respects the fuck out of me <laughs> he's over there being like i'll respect you so hard <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I said that on on the live stream. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> he's a Gemini. <laughs> Tika. <laughs> okay, so did everybody? I'm dying. What? Did you say? <laughs> what? You just be like, oh, he's a Capri Sun. He's a Capri Sun. He's fine. We're so compatible. <laughs> I know, right, Tim? <laughs> like, if I respected me half as much as Randy respects me, I'd have my life together. I'm just saying. Hey, Randy! How do I do a giveaway? <laughs> Is it just random comment picker? How am I supposed to keep up with the comments? And I'm just typing with two fingers just to antagonize them. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> the disrespect. Not me. Right. Okay, so we're going to random. Um, oh, we get trolls all the time, Beth. It was just that was the first time I've ever gotten anything like that, and I was like, mm. "What are you doing with that towel? Oh, I'm on to you." You need a handy water pistol. Hmm. No, because then the house will just get soggy from me shooting everything. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay. Okay, so we're at the randomcommentpicker.com. I can't click the link. Oh, guess no comment this week. Oh, no! Pro! Is anybody else having that problem? Oh, no! Well, if you go to our... If you go to our, our page, maybe. I don't know. You left a comment, didn't you, Pro? 
He has won stuff. He's kind of like George playing Monopoly. He's like, I've never won this ever. I know I've sent you. You and you and um, Drax's mom both have won stuff. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Catapult can't go wrong. Nice. Well, hey, baby boy, my little Z dog coming to visit me. Okay. Y'all had a minute. Are you ready? Cause ready or not, we're fixing to. I'm clicking get the YouTube comments. said can't click the link okay um I don't know how to make it so that you guys can click the link I could put it in the ooh I'm gonna put it in the video description to participate in our giveaway leave a comment on this video paste and then I'm gonna save it so now it should be down in the place Nope, never won, but Drax did. She is all the luck. Oh, pro. You got... Ow, baby. Z's disrespecting me, Randy. Look at him. He's just chock full of disrespect. <laughs> Good. Huh? Good. Good, he says. Oh, he's so hard to be a dog all day. Okay. Um, If you refresh this down in the comments, there should be... Well, not in the comments, but in the video description... There should be a little place where you can click on it now. Tico says, can't see yet. Deb's over there still drum rolling. You got this, Deb. This is an absolute show. <laughs> so professionally. I know. He's the, he's the sweetest little puppy. And then Sam lays over there on his bed. Like, oh, nobody loves me. Whenever it's like yesterday specifically. Like, we took a whole bunch of time off work actually to just sit there and love on the dogs because they're horribly neglected just ask them okay I think we've given you guys all the time that we're gonna for this week but for next week even if you win this week you can still participate on our Monday shop updates just pop in there and leave a comment and that puts your name in the hat to win uh, we're giving away one of our wire wrapped bubble kits does that sound good babe we're giving away a wire wrapped bobble kit okay. for promotional purposes. It's a tax write off. Oh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so you'll get. Don't wait Is it not? No. Oh. <laughs> yes, we'll be giving away. Tico says, I can't click it. Go to my YouTube channel and in my video history, last week's shop update. Y'all trifling with this giveaway. <laughs> We're trifling? I don't know the meaning of the word. Okay, but I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to flip this around. There we go. Okay, so there's the comment picker. And how do I... Randy, how do I use it? <laughs> Randy! And also, clearly, all I Google is food. Because it's like, y'all, bitch, eat some Oreos. Do you want some wieners? Get Oscar Mayer wieners. What? What have you been searching? No, just food. What do I press? Randy. Way up to the top. Uh-huh. Get... Way up to the top. Uh-huh. Okay, now, filter duplicate users. Uh-huh. That way everybody has a fair chance. And then get YouTube comments. Mm-hmm. Oops, Oops this video has comments. What? Did you turn your comments off? I, there's no way I've turned my... Okay. Give me just a second. I'm going to take it off of the screen because I'm really worried about you. No, if you click that big green start button, it gives you viruses. Um, don't click on that. <laughs> what? No, I, I found that out. Um, get YouTube comments. They're not disabled? That's silly. Oh, that's because I didn't... I didn't paste the correct, here's the correct link. Randy, I need you. <laughs> Help. You're on your own. What would Yvonne Williams do without Randy? This. What are you people doing? I don't know, cat. We're having a giveaway. Are we? Are we? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I reshared the link. Z's trying so hard to like mitigate this disaster. He's like, manager on the floor. Hey, Gary. 
You can do your happy little face. I love you so much, Lee. Do you want to do the giveaway? You want to press the button? <laughs> I suck at tech. Me too, Sherry. Okay. So, okay. We can do it. We've got this. Z, we're going to... Okay, filter duplicate users, get YouTube comments. It's working! Okay, it's working, you guys! What is the definition of trifling? I don't know. But it sounds like a very fancy word. I know, his little face. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna flip this around. Daniel says, I don't have the energy. Hey, Daniel! <laughs> Me neither. Okay, you click this start, because if you click that one, that's an ad. Don't click it. We're gonna click this one. And we get to find out who the winner is. <gasps> Julia, the judge! She says, love them all. Julia, if you could send me an email at backtoearthcreations at yahoo.com, uh, we will get your giveaway winnings sent off to you, and we are giving away one of our uh, new wire-wrapped bobble craft-along kits. Yeah, Paulette, he's a good boy. Y'all want to see another cute pupper? They're my little Sam dog. He's like, oh, it's hard being a dog. It's so hard being a dog. But congratulations, congratulations so much, Julia. Um, back to work. Okay. Wow, that was like the hardest giveaway I've ever done. <laughs> Wait, ah. <it's laughs> I really fumbled that one. Finally, a winner, right? <laughs> Yeah, Deb was like, still drum rolling. Um, the Julia or Julia Del Judge, um, you don't have to be in the chat to win. You have to have left a comment and then like a uh, You solved the puzzle. <laughs> and then but she's a uh, she frequents our stuff, so winner winner chicken dinner. But yeah, we don't do where people have to be active in chat to have won because, you know, your work schedule might not line up with our live streaming event or you might be experiencing lag or, you know, any number of variables. So, and now back to crafting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here we might be able to see this is the wire from the back, I suppose, and this is the wire from the front. I'm going to be working on the one from the back first, and I'm just going to do one, two, three, four, five repetitions. And I am actually going to just snip off that excess. If this were like sterling or fine silver or something, I would not do that. I would have coiled it in. But it's silver plated pair wire. It is super affordable. Okay, and then we're going to wrap once and twice around the one. So are y'all ready to do the same exact thing that we just did, but slightly different probably? Da -da 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 -da. A trifle is a layered dessert. <laughs> okay, and then one, two, three, four, five. Oh, thank you, Kelly. One and two. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> Give me a sec. I've got a Google trifling. 
Hey Google, what's trifling? I'm gonna get educated today. No. It picked up on the going to get educated today part. Hey Google, what's trifling? Lacking in significance or solid words, such as a frivolous trifling talk. Ah. A tri tri trivial, a trifling gift. Frivolous trifling talk. Huh. It's unimportant and of no consequence. Yeah, that's basically me in a nutshell. Truffles a candy or a mushroom. Trifles a layered dessert or can mean something insignificant. Thank you, Drax. Well, this is plenty significant to me, so you can eat my butt. Like, <laughs> keep in mind always, y'all, you clicked on my face. I have not had a truffle. I haven't had a truffle mushroom, but I've had like a chocolate truffle. Those are bomb diggity. Oh my god. <laughs> truffle oil and pasta, really? <laughs> Is it like super mushroomy though? Because Brandy hates mushrooms. Oh, Sherry. <laughs> Saying it's more you be playing or you be too sad. Ah! Oh, these whippersnappers and their slang. Now y'all are making me hungry. <laughs> Thank you guys. You're always looking out for me. Well, hey, Sandra. <laughs> She's like, amazing. Two, three, four, five, six. So for the symmetry, I really like counting those stitches because if I have the same number of stitches on both sides, then it should be symmetrical. We'll see. There's always something to uh, throw a gear or a wrench in the gear works. Going to make a flatbread pizza? What? Truffle popcorn? That does sound really good. I was looking up recipes of how to make naan yesterday because we had um we had some leftover naan from whenever we went camping and then didn't <laughs> like we were camping for seven hours and then we came home it was awesome but horrible um but uh when we got home we still had some leftover naan so i made purple soup last night um it's cabbage stew but I used the purple cabbages from my garden, and it is the purplest thing I have ever eaten that was not dyed to be that color. <laughs> Garlic naan is the best. <laughs> Who's ignoring who, Sherry? I'm not ignoring y'all. Red cabbage. Yes, and it turned it, like, solid purple. So we had gouda, like, we toasted the naan in butter in the skillet, and then put a slice of gouda cheese on it, and then had that with the purple soup and it was amazing <laughs> Ooh, i've never had that i love the texture of non though two three four five six seven eight nine wow we're making pretty good time on this time is a construct grilled non pizzas yes i bet non is a mate well it's amazing anyways but i bet i would also like it with like goat cheese on it wendy uh, i'm hungry i'm sorry I, i'm not really like physically hungry just my mouth is lonely for naan and goat cheese <laughs> and this is why this is why I, i'm fluffy <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> it's like, yes! <laughs> Super durable pro, there you go. <laughs> I would like to reach out my hand on my same. I think I'm officially old in my heart now. 
Like somebody said something trendy and I didn't understand it. Like a buffoon. <laughs> a naan and butter pinier for dinner. Ooh. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We're so close. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well, hey, minis. Um, we are making a prototype for our newest tutorial that is like the next level up from our wire wrapped bobble tutorial from like uh a couple of years ago <laughs> sherry says don't be hating on old now oh i'm hating it's just I, I remember when i used to be a whippersnapper and said hip and trendy things and now i'm like what does that mean <laughs> but no any of us with any sort of luck get to be old one day and i hope i get to get there and i will drink to that so, when was the last time I babbled y'all's ear off about acorn acres? Hey, Stephanie, how's it going? <laughs> Chantel says, I sound old when I say trendy and hip things. Like, actual trendy and hip things or just the phrase trendy and hip things because <laughs> i don't think there's a, a trendy and hip person on the planet who has said the phrase trendy and hip <laughs> that's fine though one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen because okay so <clears throat> we had been really looking hard at like land and stuff but uh we think it's going to be best if we just stay here for like five more years <laughs> Chantel told the kids I was young as I feel and they told me it didn't matter I'm still holding this dirt well two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen beautiful things need dirt to grow so well then trendy <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, thank goodness. <clears throat> um, we've decided we're going to be staying in this house most likely for five years. I mean, it's just we were like, there was so much pressure on to be like gotta gotta put things as hard as possible and do and, and like whenever it's super business work mode, I'm not as creative as I'd like to be, and that's kind of well, vital for, I mean, we have a, a creativity-based business, so I can't just be working myself to death. Um, and <clears throat> so I needed some sort of creative outlet for, okay, we're going to be staying in this house. And for like a little bit, I was feeling kind of trapped, like that it's like, well, crap, we're kind of stuck here for five years. But that's a, that was a terrible mindset to be in because this is, you know, I mean, it's a fixer-upper for sure, but this is our home. How can we make where we are now amazing? You know, because my impulse is like, ah, well, this is pretty rough. Well, we'll just, let's get this other place and start over fresh and new. And it's like, no, let's figure out how to make this money pit of a house into a home that we're very happy in. And that's like really good. And so um, we are looking at different ways uh to make the craft room maybe a little bit more intentional a little bit more efficient um in its storage and organization and i'm really excited to be bringing y'all some videos about how we're going to be doing that in probably the coming months oh mary hart's got a good question she says i was just wondering do you always make the bail first when wrapping a project or does it depend on the project it does depend quite a bit on the project um, for pieces like this where uh, it has something that I can just like loop through, um, I do like to do the bale first. But uh, that's mostly just because um, my hands, like right now my hands are so sore and tired. And if I were to uh, have done everything the bale first, 
I'd have run out of steam by now. Whereas right now, the hard part's over. Like, we've already made the bale. So now we just get um, to do all the fun stuff. Uh, we've gone. Done any cosplay or all closed due to COVID? Um, we I haven't done any cosplays recently. Um, I gained about, like, mm, 30 pounds uh, in quarantine. And I'm definitely clinging to that as my excuse and not just that, you know, food's freaking amazing and I like sitting on my butt all day. Um, <laughs> but, uh, so none of my old costumes fit and I like wasn't feeling myself and wasn't really feeling inspired and I don't know, like I don't have any good excuses except for this, it just wasn't getting done. But I really feel like I'm coming back into myself again and feeling really good. This, y'all, I really do think doing this year of yoga over on the monster vlog is like the best thing that I could have possibly done for myself. And I'm delighted to be dragging y'all along with me. Monster vlogs is pro pool. Mm. I can't read comments until I get this fun. Whoops! Sometimes we have to keep holding on to our tail wire or it will wrap around. Oh, look at that. It's such a nice, tight little coil. Making armor from leather. Saw it on Nerdforge. Right on! <laughs> But yeah, I'm really excited to just, I don't know, just start crafting again. Like, as odd as it sounds, I, just, I haven't felt that crafty in, in a minute. But it's really coming back. Making that jewelry box was a ton of fun. I've started, um, I don't know, just working with polymer clay again has like revitalized me. I hear it on the bale. It's really disappointing when you wrap a piece and then botch the bale so badly that you have to rip the Oof, yeah. But if it's like an Oxana style or a groovy cab or something like that, then I usually end up doing the bale last. Um, just because I gotta do everything else first before I can get the bale up there. Okay, gonna get the wire flipped around again because we're about to start making it funky. Hey, Dre! The jewelry box is awesome. Ah, right on! <laughs> You've both got the polymer clay bug. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, all right on, Mitch. So again, sometimes if your wire does not want to scooch down all the way, what we can do is I'm holding with one pair of pliers and then coming in, not squeezing the core wire, but just bringing the close enough together that we can, there we go. Just get it nice and smushed. We're gonna put it officially on hold. We're gonna have to shoot for Bristol opening day next year. Right on. I thought I was behind when I saw you spinning the wraps. I refreshed and you were still doing it. Nope, <laughs> we were just doing it again, Phyllis. I've been craving clay as well. Right on. Ah, I got a pasta machine. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Loving the yoga. I've been following along with you. Maybe I'll send you pics of my Pasha Tano cosplay. Ooh, I love the con coming up soon here in Kentucky. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> wow. Oh, congrats, Kathy. Back into crafting again. Lost 25 pounds. That's awesome. Randy has actually agreed with me that we're going to hide the scale. Um, well, he's going to hide the scale from me in particular, and we're just gonna be tracking off of measurements because it's like, I'm way too volatile to be weighing myself every day. And it's like right there. So of course I am not gonna not, you know, weigh myself every day. Um, right on. But I just wanna, be capable, you know? Like, it's really nice that whenever we do go out into the woods, I'm still able to, like, hike eight miles, like, and do that stuff. So, okay. Let's 
So now we can start threading all of our wires through the center. The really before we start doing that, I'm going to put coils on this one and this one on both sides. So full arm span, because why not? <laughs> So now whenever I'm just starting a coil right from the beginning and it's not like bound to anything, I just come here to the end like this. It's such a nice breezy day outside, but then we go out there and it's like a wall of horrible humidity. Um, but I'll take it. It's better than no rain, I guess. Oh, I want to take pottery classes so, so badly. And it's, this is going to feel like we're doing a ton of prep work before we even put the stone in, but that's okay. Love says, so I bought some polymer at Joann's, but dang, there was hardly any. I got three small dark gunmetal gray ones of the Primo. My question is, though, do I paint before or after I bake them? Um, I like painting after, um, just because sometimes, depending on the paint that you're using, it might, dark, whoops, super durable, um, it might, uh, it might discolor, it might bubble, it might scorch. So you can paint it with the, like sculpt the clay um, and then paint after the fact. Ah, that'd be so cool, Shay. It's just been a matter of making the time. Da -da 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 -da. You don't even need prior classes, just watch YouTube videos and go with what you feel. If it doesn't work, then take classes if you feel you need to. Um, a lot of it is we don't travel anymore, and so legitimately, I don't leave the house um, except for to, like, go to the post office, and even then, Randy takes care of that mostly. So part of it is I really need to go out and be around other humans, um, but also, eh, I don't know, I, I enjoy being self-taught because I can do it at 2 in the morning without pants on and just be on YouTube, like, learning stuff. Um, but I feel like, especially after taking gla fused glass uh, classes <clears throat> a few times, it's, I learned so much faster to just be in the same room as somebody who can watch what I'm doing and be like, that right there, instead of doing that, you might want to hold the pliers like this, and you're going to get a cleaner result. And it's like, boom, like something that it, it you know, other times with like wire wrapping or polymer clay or anything that I've done, you know, like that, uh, <clears throat> it sometimes took me years to get over a bad habit that I had ingrained in myself by teaching myself from the beginning. Lampwork glass beads are another one that I would love to take a class on. I haven't had the opportunity, what with the Rona and whatnot, but um, <clears throat> I'd love to, there's a studio up in Kansas City I've had my eye on that I'd really love to go to. I'd also really love to, like, I'm trying to, do I wait and just go to, like, um the William Holland School there in Georgia for like a week or two. Um, <laughs> Tara says this is the most interaction I've had in months. I'd go downright bananas if it weren't for getting to hang out with you guys on Fridays. So, <laughs> is acrylic okay and what about Mod Podge? And how do I make sure I don't burn it? Um, just follow the instructions. Uh, on the packaging for your clay and you shouldn't have to worry about burning it but do make sure to preheat your oven first all of the projects that I've burnt is because I've put them into a cold oven a lot of ovens will ramp that temperature up to try to bring it to temp and then it'll mellow out and that'll that'll scorch your clay um, <clears throat> 
and then acrylic works perfect and Mod Podge is the bomb. So now we're doing pity drops. What the heck am I going to walk into whenever I get home? Oh no, Jax! <laughs> Okay, well, I coiled significantly more than what I meant to because I just kind of got carried away, but I think that's all right. So how much have we coiled? We have coiled three inches, roughly. We don't allow the BS. It's a place where people just buy stuff. Hmm. Well... So many polymers mushroom houses after you did ah right on mitch Ooh, did you did you have a chance yet mitch to see the uh the jewelry box i got to me make so with those three inches i've gone ahead Oh, it's actually upstairs in my bedroom now because it's for me. I'm going to keep it. But um, I'm doing, we're transitioning the um, bedroom back into the temple room. So we're just putting the bed in the living room uh, where that crappy futon is. Um, and then, so the temple room is just, I'm full on vonning it up. Um, ah, right on it. That'll be so cool because I'm working on an apothecary cabinet. Um, a whole, like, kind of, uh, alchemist's cupboard <laughs> sort of thing, and painting one of the walls, I think, in, like, a glow-in-the-dark or fluorescent mandala, um, and I, I don't know, like, Randy's basically given me full reign on that room, he's like, yeah, do whatever, and I was like, eee! so <laughs> we're gonna get that, um, all together. Beth says, are you selling the jewelry boxes? I don't know. I'm kind of thinking about maybe, but we'll have to see. Because it's right now, like, I'm having so much fun just kind of making stuff. And a lot of folks are in kind of, eh, y'all need to be spending your money on stuff that's not jewelry. Like, w what Randy and I do while we do it to make our living we're not groceries, we're not your bills, we're not, like, we are the least essential part of your life, and I don't want to make people feel pressured to be like, hey, come buy stuff, hey, come buy stuff. Like, it's, I want y'all to take good care of yourselves, because the best way y'all can help us is to help you, because we, can, we can't always get to be there for you, you know, the way we want to. And so if you guys take good care of yourselves, then whenever finances ease up, then you can come shopping at our store. So I'm having fun just making content that's free. That way I don't feel stressed about, you know, anything. I don't want me to be stressed. I don't want y'all to be stressed. So Pro says, you're going to show the temple room when it's done on the Monster Vlog? You know it. That's where we're going to be doing yoga. So I think you're making a fairy house necklace. Thoughts? Also, thank you for answering those questions. Yeah. Um, do it. Do it. You can't see it, but I'm doing the Von Palpatine. <laughs> um... Or Senator Vonatine is what Randy calls it. The wall memorial when you finish it. I do believe so, Mary Hart. We're actually probably going to make a video out of it because I'm a shameless, shameless self-promotion. Okay. So, I kind of, I did way too much. <laughs> I needed that to stop, like, back here so we could start weaving on here again. Poop. Aww. Dr. Dre says, you've been essential to me. You guys definitely got me through quarantine with at least a sliver of sanity. Aw. Well, I'm glad to be helpful to you. <laughs> okay, so before I go too much farther, I'm going to at least try to get the other side to match. So, pulling off, again, another arm's length. Oh, Mitch. <laughs> I love the, the socializing without having to leave my craft room. Because it's like, as much as I want to go and, like, craft with other crafty people, whenever I'm at a crafty place that is not my own, I'm like, where's my stuff? Where's my chair? <laughs> Whereas, like this, we can all just sit around in our little craft nests and still hang out and craft. It's perfect. Hey, Randy. 
You hear like a super high pitch ringing. Ringing. Okay. The tonight has got me going cray cray. For comfort, and so iTunes making it with you guys right there. <laughs> nice. Have you have you ever finished a project, live with it a few days, and then decide you don't like it and completely take it apart and remake it? Um. Yes, yes, a bunch actually. Um, I prefer to chunk stuff like that into a crap box and just send it to somebody else's house for them to deal with. So, um, just because it's like, uh, uh, I'll just completely run out of um, creativity for a piece. Okay, so we got that scooched around. And again, I'm trying to do about three inches. Though really, I think just an inch and a half, but we'll see. Maybe I'll just do two inches. Da, da, da. Oh, right on. No, we don't do any kind of like Zoom stuff or anything like that. Just because, well, we can trust most of you guys. We've done, like, like, we've tried to do, like, there was one time we tried to do, like, a Google Hangout thing, and, like, one lady kept flashing her, like, well, her bits and pieces, really, um, and we were like, dude, and I think she was just being super, like, casual, and I was like, you can't be doing that. If I can't be showing my bits and pieces, you can't be showing your bits and pieces, so, uh, so that's why we don't do stuff with other people on the internet where they can have video is because y'all's a bunch of barbarians <laughs> and you're my people don't get me wrong but you can't be flashing your bits and pieces <laughs> no bits and pieces no they were bits and pieces like and oh, what was the time somebody video called us this is also why we don't use facebook anymore um if somebody had video called and i didn't recognize it but i answered anyways and it was somebody sitting on the toilet and, like, Randy is there, too. And she's like, hey, Randy. And, like, flashed your boobies. And I was like, what is happening? So, y'all ruined the internet. And now I don't leave my house. <laughs> but, I didn't even ask for this. <laughs> Mitch thinks it's hilarious. If that slaps just in grunts. And so, it's one thing entirely for us to be hanging out, like, in person and for us to all be getting weird and stuff. But we can't be doing it whenever we're on, like, our business platform and trying to, like... Because you never know. There's, like, might be kids about and there's folks who didn't sign up for that stuff. And it's, you know, we're here for the crafting. Please keep your pants on. Black Hammer says cameras are not allowed, right? I think a year of Zoom meetings has taught us that surprising number of people just hang out naked at home. Yup. <laughs> Pro says, why can't I get those video calls? Now, I'm just going to say, though, y'all, I did grow up at a nudist camp, so I am not phased a bit. It's just, let's have some professional decorum, please. Like, gives a new meaning to hanging out. So, show. Okay, this one I only did two inches. And this one, 90 plus year old lady whose clothing, no, when she was in the home, she was old enough to shave. What? this kind of video. <laughs> Y'all are hilarious. It's not that kind of crafting. <laughs> right, Phyllis? Keep you you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or what's it? <laughs> what was it? You saw like, he was watching something over my shoulder and something weird popped up. It was like female empowerment and he just went, who hot? <laughs> and I was like, yes, honey, that's what that is. <laughs> So for a while, that's what who hot meant. Okay, so now's the tricky part of trying to get this twist to match the other twist. And here I am being like, we need professional decorum. And then I just keep talking. Sandra, excellent. Quick question. When I order from Parawire, I'm able to get the larger gauges in the big spool, but when I order 26 gauge, they only offer 150 feet. Is there a secret to getting the big spool in 26 gauge? 
I've had these big spools for probably over five years now. I don't know if Parawire still produces them. Um, so I don't know. I don't think I have. <laughs> they do, Tara. They really do. <laughs> I don't know if they still have it. But yeah, Kelly, that's a great point. Send them an email and ask them. They're really great. Uh, their customer service is like goals. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so two inches was still a bit more than what I wanted, but I think it'll be okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to remove an entire inch of coiling from this and the way I'm going to do that is I'm just gonna put it in reverse so I can't cut wire without sending bits of metal flying so no need crafting for me right <laughs> oh, well thanks Christina <laughs> And yes, I did actually grow up in a news camp. Was somebody... Oh, Paulette. Yeah, I did. I think my parents were hippies. I'm not entirely certain. But it was... We lived in tents for about, like, three months. And it was, like, the best time of my childhood. It was amazing. Yeah! Oh yeah, you can put spirals anywhere. But yeah, so you can have just some super cute little... And then you can just... We'll figure it out. Try to not overwork that wire too much. Which is easier said than done, fo sure. Do, 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 Okay, a little bit further. That's a lot of wire. <laughs> So it looks like one inch of wire uses, like one inch of coiling, uses almost a foot of wire. Um, Mary Hart says, are you using square and half round wire what, or do you still prefer just round? I want some shaped wire so badly. Um, it depends on the piece. I do still use quite a bit of half round and square wire, enough that I try to make sure I always have it in stock. Yes, Tara. <laughs> okay, so from here, oh really, square or half round and non-tarnished silver. You might want to try checking out, I'm actually using their titanium tone, which I find, I like it much better. Here you can see the titanium and silver side by side. I like the look of the titanium because it matches a lot of stainless steel, doesn't yellow as much over time, and it even matches in well with some like antique sterling silver stuff. <clears throat> so again, that's what I'm using here, right? Okay, so. Do, 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 do. There's one and two. I'm gonna flip this around. Let's try zooming in a little bit. Okay, so we, we're gonna be repeating this same motif here. Though, I don't know. <clears throat> And this is the, the instance where it's like, I don't know what decision to make moving forward. Because I don't want to do too much of just the same weave. Also, I can't do too much with how this wire is all kind of crimped and wibbly, wibbly wobbly. It's 
perfectly okay, Tara, to throw it in the potty. <laughs> um, but no, to set the project down and come back to it, maybe try something else. Maybe instead of working on like an actual project project, um, you just do like some practice weaving just to kind of, you know, so that the intention is to, you know, if it messes up, it's perfectly fine. Four, five. Okay. Oof, that finger. Okay, let me zoom back out just a little bit because I'm way too out of frame. Ooh, coffee. Okay, so I'm at least going to use up all of the um, wire that was previously coiled and then do that on the other side. One two says one two three two one that would work comatose if i had more than two core wires i think if that's if that's what you mean when you get old crafters get arthritis that's true but i've also seen lots and lots of folks with arthritis who were never particularly crafty so sometimes it happens sometimes it doesn't I think it has more to do with like maintenance than, you know, because we can be crafting and not abusing our hands. And oftentimes I think if you keep your hands moving, then the muscles and everything in your hands will help support those joints. But, and it's, I actually am really glad that over the past decade, I've been doing a bunch of different crafts because it's helped me to keep from, I don't have carpal tunnel knock on wood um you know and also I do practice uh flow arts so like I spin poi which is like um basically a ball on a cord or like a tennis ball in the end of a sock and it provides a little bit of weight but it's mostly um yeah a lot of doing your hand in this motion which strengthens and supports a lot of that <clears throat> and I can't speak highly enough of it because it helps stretch my neck and shoulders and it's fun and that's always nice. <laughs> okay, we're getting close. I've only got like maybe five more inches. Ooh, Kit. My fingers hurt so bad. But and it's not my joints, it's like my actual tender flesh. So I'm off to get a late dinner. Ah, uh, bye Mary Hart. Just say hi to Randy. Hi, Randy. Kind of Oh, well, thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. Do, 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 do. Right on, Sherry. It's not the years, it's the mileage. Possi possibly. Because, again, everybody's different. And it's a broad brush to paint with. Three, four, five. Hey, Anna, how's it going? Oof. Okay, so that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, let's just make it ten, just for, you know, why not? And ten. And then I'm going to go one, two, three, four, Five. It's just occurred to me I could actually change fingers just because it's not my favorite way. Okay, so now we'll come in here. I've just flipped the piece over and we're going to do 10 repetitions of two around both, five on one, two around both. Right on. What kind of crafts do you do, Anna? And again, you can always just whoop, kind of bend that off just a little bit. What? Tara, no! Three, four, five. Hey, 
Nana. How are you doing? Um, so hard to make myself use it. Hey, Randy, can you come like right here and see if you can hear that? I think it's one of the lights or something. Can you switch off that light? No, it's still going. Am I insane? Is this happening? Do I just have tinnitus? Gosh darn it. Thank you, honey. Got vine denitis? <laughs> still going. I'm wondering if I'm hearing the air conditioner upstairs. That's a possibility. Oh, why is this happening? <laughs> Why? I can't hear you speak in the other room, yet I can hear the high-pitched whine of a motor on the other side of the house. Eh! Sounds about right. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. Is it okay to call a female a master at something, or does it need to be mistress? Um, I think... I don't know. I think, yes, call them a master because mistress has, I think, a, like, implication of, like, the king's mistress sort of stuff. Um, did a seven-foot painting of a mountain. That's awesome. Oh, pro. Oh, Jiminy Christmas. <laughs> get out of here, you barbarians. <laughs> You're gonna get me canceled, bro. <laughs> <laughs> have you tried using surgical tape on your fingers yes but then what would I have to complain about really no it's I, I had some and then I lost it so but um master is now genderless that's true <laughs> one two three four five we're halfway there the second one always seems to go a little faster, I guess. I don't know. I can still hear the the, the whistling. Four, five. And again, all of this prep work should hopefully get us like a really cool result. Mm. Why did the oyster leave the party early? If you got, if y'all gonna get me in trouble with YouTube. Because it pulled a muscle. Oh my god, that's so wholesome and I love it. <laughs> well done, Anna. <laughs> Who cares if someone slapped Propol? I can hear him chuckling wickedly from two hours away. Dad jokes are always appreciated. I actually had a dream about my dad the other night that... Me and him and, like, a bunch of the other fam was, like, hanging out at Randy's dad's house in Tennessee, and we were all talking about air fryers, and then I made some bread, and it was, like, and I knew it was a dream because I was, like, I never make whole wheat bread, and it actually comes out this fluffy. But, and then I fed my, like, I gave him some bread, and he ate it, and he was, like, that's really good bread. And that was my dream about my dad. It was just, it was really cool to get to, like, hang out with him again. So... But it was just a very specifically vivid dream that, like, normally I don't remember my dreams after I've woken up. That was pretty cool. So now I'm like, I need to go make some bread. Try making some whole wheat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do da do da do. Because they don't get a hay back. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, Pyritus. No, my dad passed away when I was 13. He was 48. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I guess, I think I might have actually been 14. I don't know. The math's a bit weird. It was, it's been a while. 3, 4, 5. Is that 5? Yeah. Hey, Bella Ann, how's it going? Ah, uh, thank you, Scarlet. He's in my heart for always. I lost count again. This hummingbird has just been like sitting there. 
this whole time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ha! Ah, we're, we're done! Ow! Hi, Dawn. My heart's with you, Sherry. I think whether we lose somebody recently or a while ago or what, it still it just never quite spayed. Maybe serenading you. No, this window doesn't open. You're just a chubby looking little hummingbird. Y'all want to see the hummingbird again? Are y'all ready for this? Let's give my fingers a break. So first off, da -na -na, da -na. <laughs> it just doesn't hit the same. Where'd he go? There he is. There's that chunky bubby. He's such a pretty little hummingbird. <laughs> He's just sitting there grooming. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Oh yes, you have a suitor. How do I zoom back out? There we go. <laughs> and chips in this light to let me know he's near. Oh, that's cool. Isn't it good luck to see a hummingbird? Maybe, or I put a hummingbird feeder out. Then I got way more hummingbird sightings. It's kind of like if you want to see rainbows, you have to go outside in the rain. So if you want to see hummingbirds, put out some feeders. <laughs> Give them a name? Maybe. Because there's a couple of other ones that I don't really know how to tell them apart yet. <gasps> there's still one at the feeder now. And this is why I can't get work done. is because I will sit here literally all day being like, Randy, there's a hummingbird. <laughs> Chunk. It's official, we're naming him Chunk. Because <laughs> he is a little, a little chunker than the other ones. Like this one, I don't think this one's Chunk. Chunk, it die you? Chunk. See, he doesn't look as, maybe it's his different angle. Is that the same Chunk? We'll have Chunk and other Chunk. They're all just named Chunk now. <laughs> Well, hey, in Munich. Thanks for your lovely and uplifting tutorials and craft-alongs. You're always an inspiration for me. It helps me stay sane and crafty in this time's all. Well, thank you. I'm really glad to be helpful to you. Sweet tubby hummingbird. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, that's Chunk. He chunked back up. So it's like when he goes long boy and like stretches his neck out. But then whenever he goes full Chunk, he just a little bean. Okay, so now. Me too, he ain't special. What? <laughs> Randy just goes, Me too, he ain't special. <laughs> oh, Randy, I love you so much. <laughs> okay, so now we can begin actually incorporating our pendant. Our bobble. Okay. So I kind of want to make sure that those. Okay. Now I'm just going to hold this and I'm going to fold this side up and over. Fold this side up and over. Oh, I'm not even in frame. <laughs> Never use sugar. In the bird feeders, sugar attracts them. He is sick boy. That's what they eat though. Ish. Nectar. Hey Aaron, how's it going? Yeah, they always drink it up before uh, we have any problems with it hardening. Ah, uh, thanks, Christina. Okay. So... Uh... 
I'm kind of just gripping here on the back. Yeah. I actually um, boil the water and pour it onto the sugar. And then I have this little immersion blender <laughs> for like frothing my coffee. That I'm, I mean, it's clean, obviously, but I stick it in there and, and it dissolves it real quick. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've heard it. That's how it goes, isn't it? Hmm, I don't know if I like that. My hands hurt and they're all sweaty. Mom's spaghetti. Oh no, I think I hate it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't hate I don't hate it yet. It's fine. I think I want to, instead of bending it, I'm just going to thread it through the middle again. Yes. And that's kind of locking that wire down for us, too. Very cool. <laughs> right, Erica? Oh, no. Gone full eight mile. You know, I actually feel like I could have done without these little side swirls, but I mean, I don't hate it. Hmm. Okay. So now from here, I think I'm going to make these into a very grand mustachio. So from the edge of the bobble, I'm using my fingers because I have them. And just snipping. But yeah, so all that prep work on the front end helps all of this to start to come together, hopefully. A little bit more oh, and I think that's gonna be too wide sorry I didn't mean to throw that down so I'm just doing one thick finger so like two centimeters past the edge of the bead And just coming around town. Oh yeah, I love that. Okay. And you can always practice making spirals with your scrap wire too. And just as some shameless self-promotion, we do have a couple more of these kits, I think, for sale up on our website, backtoearthcreations.com. And that way you can be among the first to prototype our new craft-along kit. Now, this is not like how we do in our clubs. This one is specifically for um, just this one project. Now, you can do other stuff with it, of course, but um, the craft along kits that we send out in our craft along club are just like kind of any old project materials. Ooh, right on, Kelly. Oh, well, thanks, Anna. So I kind of want to, mm. I like that. I think I like that a bunch actually. Oh yeah. Okay. You gonna add any beads? I don't know. Because we're not sending any beads out in the kit, so I don't think I'm gonna do any for in the tutorial, but there are tons of opportunities here that you could be really beating this up. Ah. Uh, 
Okay, so, ah, uh, Rhonda, thank you. <laughs> so I think, what are we doing? I think I'm going to do another section like that. Eep, what am I doing? Okay. Duck's going back to tell the goose about the chicken. I think I missed something. <laughs> oh, Sherry, you'll get it. Um, I actually think, and this is going to be, this is, I think, different advice than I've given in the past on making spirals. I think the best way to start practicing your spirals is to do the very, very tight ones. So you start by making that loop as you do. And I'm keeping my finger there on the back side. That way it does keep it two dimensional. But then once you build up that much enough that you can hold on to it with like your pliers, either use your chain nose or your flat nose or your nylon jaw. And I'm just going to be gripping right. Do you see where the wire starts splitting off from the rest of the spiral? We want to grab it right before it makes that split off and then try to hold it nice and firm and then just bend it a bit and then we turn it and then we bend it and then we turn it and then we bend it and you just inch up these tiny tiny increments like millimeter or two at a time and the more you get built the more you'll have to hold on to and so it'll become more stable. It's just pretty tricky there at the beginning. <clears throat> but yeah, just doing that where you rotate just a bit and then bring it down and rotate just a bit and bring it down. And then once you have enough that you can hold it with your fingers, you can hold with your fingers and start bending and turning. And this I think is the best way. First off, you're getting a spiral made. So already we're getting results um which sometimes that's all the encouragement that i need is to be like okay just just do something that looks like something wire please um so start with these and then build your way up into the more swirly and organic so um i'm hoping that that will be helpful to you guys because i was working with maddie um while she was here and uh she made some beautiful spirals um, we actually, she helped me make a pair of earrings because I was teaching her how to make spirals and I made one and she made one and we hammered them and then on the earrings and I can't even tell who, which one of us made which one and it's just, I'm so proud of her. She does so good, but, but yeah, so, and that's the best use in the world for all these weird little scrap bits that all of us wire wrappers start making, um, like save them all and then next time you're sitting down at your workstation <gasps> spying on the hummingbirds um sorry I saw there two at the theater wow um just make some make some spirals and then you could make those into earrings you could make charm bracelets you could do I mean I I throw them into our uh, crap boxes because I make so many of them and I don't know what to do with them um right on kit she says I can do the spirals like that it's the open swirly ones I struggle with Okay, so quick tip on the open swirly, possibly start with, we're going to start it in the same exact way, making that loop, and then just grab, and just try to get it to be a one swirl. You don't need to make it much bigger than that, you can just do that, and just focus on getting that first step and kind of troubleshoot and see what goes wrong. And this is, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this is why I'm really, really hoping that we can figure out a way to be able to start having some different craft along, like camp craft along or like educational events where we can craft together in person. Because sometimes just getting to watch what you're doing over your shoulder while you're doing it can really help me to pinpoint um, well, this right here, maybe if you try holding your hand with your pliers, just, just that little change sometimes can make such a big difference. I certainly know it does when Randy and I used to teach chain mail. So, ah, hey, Michelle. We will be here on the replay. Faux show. Sure. Okay, so now I'm bending this around. 
and getting this on the other side. Do, 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 do. Hey, Anita. <laughs> Craft till the cows come home. And then from here, it also, on the spirally ones, like the swirly organic looking ones, it really helps to have a, a lot to resist against. So maybe try giving yourself a little bit more wire or a nice bit of, you know, how the wire here on this piece has been stabilized to the rest of the wrapping. That might be helpful to you. Those yellow handled pliers I get from Rio Grande, they are the two millimeter tapered flat nose pliers. So if you go to Rio Grande and type into their search bar tapered or two millimeter tapered or two millimeter flat nose, it should pop up for you. Should. <laughs> and so now we've done that little bit of a spiral and you can see how it's kind of cramped there, like it's joined a little too snugly we can now just grip it and wrap all of it around so again to kind of demonstrate that i'm gripping on the spiral and holding our woven wire as well and then just cinching that around a little deeper So I'm trying to decide what it is exactly we're going to be doing from here because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just making stuff. <laughs> gotcha. Um, Sherry says it goes wonky when I go past the first curl because the needle nose is in the way. And I hear that. Like that is a big problem and something that oftentimes will kind of uh, crunch up the line of what you're doing. And so we were right there. And so your pliers get stuck, you know, and if you keep going, well, I don't know, maybe try to keep going and practice doing that first swirl and then building it up the same way we did on the other one can get you a pretty cool effect. Hey, Angie, how's it going? Yeah, we've gone a little over, but I really wanted to finish this uh, project today. But yeah, so there's just a nice kind of swirly. I really want to join those two together right there, but I'm not entirely certain how I'm going to do that with what's in the kit. Um i think possibly using just a little bit of that's too short i don't have enough for my fingers to hold on to so i'm going to cut off about a foot Ooh! oh i bet that looks cool tim So now, just coming through here, I'm going to stabilize this wire on the inside of this piece. Because again, I don't know if I'll be able to get to where you guys can see, but you can start by just splicing in the wire with the coils that are already there. And I want to do that like five times. That way it's nice and joined together. Woo! Careful, because if you pull too hard, it'll just slip on through. This will be something that um, in the main tutorial, in the PDF that we'll be making of this, um, I'll know that this is coming and we'll plan accordingly. But sometimes, you know, plans are wonderful to deviate from. So it's nice to be able to know, okay, well, I want this different. How do I do that? And don't feel like you can't pull your wrapping away from the rest of the project. And even kind of changing, the, oh, yeah, just opening it up that little bit. Oh, got a cramp. Mm 
Oh yeah, that made it so much easier. Okay, so we've gotten our five little wraps now. I'm going to trim off that wire tail. Give it a good old smush. And now from here, I'm going to wrap just around all of it once and trying to keep any of those wires from crossing, but my eyes are crossing, um, and twice, oh yeah, and three times, why not? What to the he? <laughs> Oh my gosh, y'all, that's probably the best splice job I've ever done. <sighs> I find it useful to stretch your hands and fingers regularly. Literally twist your hand to stretch it and loosen up all that built-up tension from crafting. Yes, to prevent carpal tunnel. But actually, here lately, I've been spinning poi uh, almost every night. So you can really get some nice hand motions and stretches. And of course, drink your Wawa. <laughs> That's water for all y'all who use like whole words to describe things. I don't know why, but when Ra uh, Maddie was here over the summer, we just started being like, hey, Rand Wandy, will you get us some Wawa? And you'd be like, yes. <laughs> and then smooshing that down very cool i am so pleased with how that came out mm. yes uh poi <laughs> isn't that cruel to the fish no it's a p-o-i um not the tuber poi um that you make like uh like it kind of smashed like it's like the root of like an elephant ear kind of um, like tarot um, and again not like reading tarot cards Ooh, <laughs> yeah that's kind of how that goes isn't it pro I'm really loving how that's look oh it's so swirly mm. um, <laughs> but uh yeah, it's basically, it's like a ball on a string. A lot of people will do it with it, like, glowing or with it set on fire. I just, it's a tennis ball and a sock for me, and I spin it around and have a lot of fun with it. If you guys want, I can do a video about it over on the Monster Vlog. Wow, Sherry. I'm lucky if I get half that in, honestly. I really need to do better with my water consumption. I says as I sip some coffee. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to splice over here on the other side as well. And I just want to point out, this is using the same exact bobble and materials that come in the kit for the simpler version of the tutorial. The little hummingbird's still there in the tree. Chonk, I love you. We can run away together. I'll make the sugar water you need. Sugar water. Sugar water. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, Randy, you're not the one I was calling Chonk. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> he goes, why? <laughs> but I love you too, Randy. We can run away together, I guess, if you want. <laughs> he goes, uh -huh. <laughs> Somehow that feels somewhat less sincere, I think. <laughs> Excuse me. Hmm? I have no idea. Like, that was like three years ago. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> like, Randy, what are you talking about? What part sounds less sincere? Oh, the, I don't, <laughs> we can, we can go run away too. All of it, all of it sounded less sincere. 
Okay, and naturally, one side is going to be perfect, this side, and the other side is going to be a, a butt's hole. So, here we go, trying to learn how to wire wrap. <gasps> I'm literally a sugar mama. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, thanks, Gary. I really enjoyed making them. I keep feeling like I'm wrapping it the wrong direction. Which I probably am. So, and then it's like, I'll be like, okay, I wrapped it in the wrong direction. And then I'll be like, okay, I need to wrap it in the other direction. And then I unwrap it, and then I wrap it in the same direction I've been wrapping in. Randy, why is there a Domino's car in front of... Oh, they left. Okay, never mind. Do, do, do. Hey. Yeah. Okay. We're finally weaving in the correct direction now. That's a good sign. And usually whenever I'm splicing in like this, and if I'm having just too rough of a time from one direction, it's likely because I'm I'm splicing in against the grain and I need to come in from the other direction. Oof, but now I started way too far up, so now I have to do a bunch of splices. Ooh, right on, Judith. Their hand-tossed pan pizzas are, like, my absolute favorite. There's a good, like, third of me that's made up just of Domino's pizzas. Okay. So I've spliced in... This last little splicey bit. Okay. And now I'm going to wrap. Am I even in frame? Barely. Okay. I'm going to open this up just a little bit. I went back to reach out my hand. Um, I say, um, I tell you, I'm not the same of me. I look like to hold my little hand. How am I feeling? How am I close to you? Stinking gooby. Okay, there it goes. My <laughs> fingies hurt. You know what? We're done. We're done, We're done Jim. Just cut it off. There it goes. It's fine. Son of a bisquick. quick. There we go. <laughs> Say it's sitting on snip today. There we go. Now it just seems to be kind of poking out weird, and sometimes no amount of smushing is going to make the wire go where it's supposed to go. So sometimes you have to just take it out, scooch it over, and when in doubt, smush it out. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, okay, it went in. <laughs> and smush it. And smush it. Oh, y'all. Like, I like that a bunch. Like, I'm just going to say, I'm digging it. It's a little lopsided though, and okay, there it goes. Well, it's still a little lopsided. I'm, like sweaty. <laughs> Why is it 300 degrees in here?
Because I kind of want to do a thing where, like, My brain's doing thinking. Ah, Christina! Okay. Oh, that always makes me so happy whenever you actually bend it around and what was supposed to be symmetrical is still kind of symmetrical. Mm. And we're just snipping. And then I'm going to come in and do, 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 <laughs> do, 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 Coming around town. There we go. That's pretty good. Why don't you take a break for a couple of minutes and ease your hands? I am like full on in the zone. And my, oh, I'm so sweaty. If I stop, I think I'll die. Like, I'm having an art attack. I've got to keep going. Yeah, that checks out. Randy says, yeah, that checks out. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but now I'm at a little. I don't know what do, what do we do. What do we do? Because I don't want this just flopping about all willy nilly. So we could join it right there. Oh yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay, but then what are we gonna do with this on the back? Ah! Okay, I'm gonna not stab myself in the eye. Christine says we're all flipping. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, smoosh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. That's the same number as how old I am. Okay. So we've done 33 stitches and I'm going to bring it up and out just a little bit, but I'm going to splice this through right here and just bring it down. And I brought it out some, that way the wire won't kink when we bring it back down. And I'm going to say, yes, it will splice. That's the greatest. And then... That's just one. I'm going to wrap around. I'm going to do it again. Okay. I think two splices will do it. You could do more on yours. Yeah, I'm going to do three. Three is a nice round number. Oh, wow, y'all, this has been, I don't know about you guys, but this has been really intense for me and I'm really enjoying this and I can't believe I just made a thing. Like, wow. Get in the flask. There it goes. Oh, like, so sweaty. Like, my fingernails are digging into my palm. Like, I'm like, ah! <laughs> oh yeah very clever okay we can't quite do it on this one but we'll be able to on the other side <clears throat> and I've completely not been counting on this one endurance wrapping right Oh, well, thank you guys so much. I really had a fantastic time wrapping this bobble with y'all. Um, we have some bobbles and cabs in our shop. If you guys are interested in snagging some, 
to use our artwork and your artwork. And we also have a couple of kits specifically for this project. So it's the exact same wire and the exact same style of bobble. Now I can't guarantee the colors on the bobbles, um, but you know, And then I'm going to snip just a, and I'm going to leave that like that so that I can make the other side be the same length. So is it 33? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, smirch, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. And I'm going to go on probably. There we go. It's spliced in, always makes me nice and happy. And then we'll do one stitch. And then, it's almost like we're sewing, but we want that, if the wires are thread, we want it to fall in between some other stitches. And this is going to ensure that it sits nice and smooth on our skin as we wear it. Okay, then one, two, oh yeah, we didn't really count, did we? Okay, so now on this one, you can actually take it Oh, Well, it's not heavy enough for us to just spin, but we can just do it like this. Which is the easiest way to make spiral, or uh, coils. And just a few more. Yep. And then we'll snip that off. Smush that down. Oh, these last steps are always the most exciting because we're really going to get to see it coming together. Uh, thank you so much. Like, this has been downright magical getting to hang out and make this with you guys and now we're just I'm getting in a rush and I'm getting ahead of myself and this is exactly whenever my pliers slip and pinch so you don't want to trip in the last leg of the race for uh so to speak Hear you, baby. There's the back side, and here's the front side, and I just need to join these two spots. So one more step. First wire up, bubble is fine. And I cut the wrong wire. Oh no, J Max! <laughs> that struggle is so so real. Okay. Oh, don't forget about the shoulders, too. Mmm, stretching the neck a bit. Okay. Take a deep breath and dive back in. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to start with just splicing in a couple on this side. Stop tugging on my wire. Because again, I really, you know, 
it's just occurred to me is I can go ahead and do that, do the splicing on the spiral where it might be a little easier because things aren't as tight perhaps. Yes, I like that significantly better. Mm. Aw, thank you so much, Jeanette. Yes, this is so much easier to splice. Now you have to be careful sometimes that you don't splice in so much wire that it pushes your coil off the tip of your core wire. If that happens, well, you just go in and snip it, but it's just something to be mindful of. Very cool. And now we can go through the center there. And just so y'all know, this will probably be what one of our upcoming tutorials will be of. Um, <laughs> that way I can demonstrate the design with the, you know, that didn't go far enough and I don't want to rush it and have everything else be so nice and just like how I wanted it and then have this be like, bleh. <laughs> Because what was happening is I hadn't worked my splicing in to where it would sit nice and clean. It was kind of skipping a f couple spots and that's no good. There's no sense in rushing it. It's like we've already put in all of this work. We may as well put in just a little bit more. Also, you may get your petite bent nosed pliers. Oh no. Okay. It's alright. Sometimes things don't want to settle in where you want them to go. I'm going to have to. Give me a sec. My eyes are failing me. Then what we do now I can see what happened. Oops. Okay, so I am gonna have to bring the camera up just a little bit. To make room for my hands. The only problem with being zoomed in this close is if you bump at all. Okay. So what's trying to happen is I want to go around right there. So I'm hooking it with my fingernail. And then, and I'm working entirely through the phone's camera right now. But it keeps wanting to nestle in right there. And then if I had my handy dandy trusty rusty tea pen like I do And so I've kind of pushed and made a little spot for our wire. Scooched it over. Oh yeah, I've got I was thinking of my niece Maddie and she really likes hollow stuff and I was like, I'm gonna do my nails. And there we go, maybe? Maybe? Yes! So see how that slid in? And now over here on the bottom we can see what do you mean by splicing it in? Okay, so uh, that's a term I started saying, I think, today. Like, I think I've said it in the past, but what I'm doing is I'm adding in a fresh wire in between these other wires that already existed from a previous coil. So, and to splice it in is to see how that just kind of disappeared in between the coils. There we go. Now from here, 
Oops, do not mean to bump the tripod. Hey, Misty, how's it going? So I snipped that. And I snipped it quite long because if we ended the wire right there, then it would have a little tip and leave a little gap. So I want that to end. I'm gonna have to do this with just my eyeballs for a sec. Okay. So we want that wire to end towards the stone. Do you see how that's happening? And that way it makes it look seamless. Whereas, was it earlier in one of these? I thought I had ended it like that. I don't know. I must not have, but... Oof. Okay, so we finally got that stinking wire. Did we? Did we even? Oh, where are you at? And this is, oh no, it doesn't pass the close-up test. There we go. No? Because sometimes I'll hear the click. Okay. So there we go. And now I'm going to, whoop, I'm going to bump the tripod and make everybody seasick. <laughs> but I'm just threading through. I don't know about y'all, but I find- oh, Did my freaking wire just- ah! <laughs> Wire broke. Son of a biscuit. Ugh. I'm gonna take a minute, you guys. I'm gonna take a minute and cry in your freaking face. Ah! It's fine. Everything's fine. Ah! No! I was so close with this stupid wire! <laughs> Hold me, Sam. Give me Snuggies. Mm, I love you. He's like, it's okay, Mom. It's okay. Let's all look at a puppy for a minute. Look at that dog. Who's a good dog? You's a good dog. That's right. Who's the best Sam dog in the whole White House? Sam dog. Who's the best dog in the whole White House? Sam and Sam dog. Oh, get you them scratch scratches. Oh, yeah, that's some good stuff. I'm so dead inside my heart right now. Like, oh Sam, can I get some kisses? Can you give me kisses? He said, no, my butt's broke. He can't jump so good anymore. He's getting old. That's all right, buddy. I can give you kisses. Mm -hmm. All right, back to work. Get up, Oh, oh. <laughs> like every single wire wrapper right now knows that frustration and that struggle and my poor fingies hurting ah, i was so close <laughs> i'm gonna get this all right back to it <laughs> no more rest for the wicked but hopefully you guys saw what we were trying to do that's just in there forever now okay that's fine I'm so demoralized. Um, uh, right on, Kit. Thanks for hanging out. Right, Crafty? And you never know. Do what? It's demarmalized? Yeah. I, do you mean deglaze? No, you demarmalize it. You it. Okay, I think he means deglazing the skillet, but... And Terrence is and you tell me to take a break. <laughs> yeah. Ah, okay. It's a, uh, I'm a hypocrite. I'm like, yeah, take a break. Step away from the project. Meanwhile, <laughs> in reality, it's like, you'll work till your fingers bleed, Vaughn. No breaks for you. I like demarmalizing it better, right? Okay. 
<sighs> I gotta, I can't even see what I'm doing. My eyes are so tired. But I'm finishing this today, you guys. Today. Ooh, right on, Misty. Stupid wire. <laughs> Iris says, I saw the idea. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we've got it wrapped around now. It's not even... I feel like I'm just, like, chunking it up making it look like super thick and stuff so instead of trying to do and I think it's because I've crammed so many wires into this spot that like I can't fit anymore <sighs> come on t-pin let's get in there and hey Mew Mews So sometimes you just have to make a little bit of space for the wire. Then make sure it actually falls up in there. <sighs> Thanks, Scarlett. That's kind of the downside to doing a nice tight weave is sometimes it's like, oh no, now I cannot fit literally anything else in there. But this is where the T-pin definitely can help though be be cautious how I had my finger back there guess who's tender and made of meat that's me and no amount of calluses in this world have ever protected me from <laughs> huh prove what that I'm tender and made of meat I, I think YouTube gets mad if you stab yourself on camera <laughs> like I'm just gonna say maybe I'll just pull on it till it breaks and then cry Cry in your face. All <laughs> for the mother and dog. Just wrapped together. I just want to be done and go to bed. What? Are you disrespecting me? Yes. Can, can you quit? It's kind of... <laughs> yes! I thought you were just saying funny stuff. I smack you. I smack you. I smack, smack, smack you. For disrespecting me. <sighs> Wandy, I need like 20,000 snuggles. Oh my goodness. I'm so stressed out right now. <laughs> uh, Scarlet says that part is worse than cutting the wrong wire. Because now I don't even, like, it's not sitting in smooth and it's stressing me out. I don't know what to do. Do I power through? Do I do I smush it? When in doubt, smush it out. That's what I always say. <gasps> That's not even a hummingbird at all. That's just some other bird. Just sitting there on the porch. Oh, he just got... <laughs> he getting his butt kicked by a hummingbird. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. Not being able to see <laughs> what kind of rambunctiousness my wire is up to makes me really... Wandy Snuggle Patrol. <laughs> Stop that trifling. <laughs> Y'all are the greatest. Yeah, I feel like I'm just making it worse. Harumph, I say. Okay, so I'm going to snip that. And I'm just going to tug on this until it breaks. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to pull it apart. Because <clears throat> this part down here is just all lumpy and weird. Um, and I think that's making for everything else being kind of lumpy and weird. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like it's hard to get it to look smooth when we have... 
I too am lumpy and weird. I know, Sam. So I'm gonna try to get in there. There we go. And lift out that wire. Oh gosh, well we had spliced it in there real good. It wasn't gonna come out without being literally hand unwound. Do, 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 do. Q and time says Drax's mom. Possibly. I've gotta go put my chickens away. And then we'll probably be able to hang out. I was gonna try to get this done and then log, but <laughs> Okay, so now we should be able to get a much smoother cool beans. Okay, that makes a little bit more space for us. What's going on up here? Why are you being weird? Ah, that's because that's where you'd spliced in that other side? Okay, I see. I see what you've got going on. I hate you. You <laughs> stupid wire, I hate you. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm just going through like the different grieving process um i don't i don't really hate you you good wire hey Kay, how's it going okay so now this is splicing ah hey blanca <laughs> yeah that was gosh that was a lifetime ago sometimes there's no telling Okay, so it's about right here that I need to be spliced into. So I'm actually going to make a little... Yeah, having a midlife crisis. <laughs> um, I want to splice up to that point. My fingers feel like ground beef. <laughs> like, I feel like beef. I feel like beef. Three four five that is splicing so see how it nestled in nice and happy and i didn't cry or anything that's how it's supposed to go <sighs> oh thanks yvonne <laughs> broken wire where'd the broken wire go i think this is actually the end of the broken wire it just breaks off just nice and clean <clears throat> I'm not going to snip that yet. I can foresee that causing problems. So now we are right there and we bypassed where the other splicing was. And so I'm just going to come through right there. In the hills, those hazy days I do remember. We were running still, and the whole world at our feet, watching seasons change. Our roads were lined with adventure, mountains in the rain. I'm gonna beat you with a stick. Oh my god, this is so frustrating. Ooh, it's okay. Fifteen <laughs> percent battery. I never did plug in, did I? honestly couldn't be doing this without the magnification of my phone and this is why I left it unsnipped because see as I pull it starts to sometimes move that and I don't want that to happen and it's still just not wanting to and I think it's because we have so much yeah it's just so tight I don't know if we can we may I hate to do it, but we may have to call it at just one loop. Ooh. Oh, I just broke off some more wire. Oh, 
So that's what the broken wire. Oh, and there's some stuck in my flesh. That's great. There we go. Um, that's what the broken wire looks like. <laughs> under magnify, under the magnification of my phone. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad it didn't break again. If it had broken in the same spot, I don't think I could have kept it together. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to call it at just one notch, like one loop between the two. It is better than none, but this is the prototype, and I am choosing my battles. You're much more professional than I would be when my wire broke or I'd cut the wrong wire. Uh, I've been through this circus before. <laughs> oh, the wire is getting the better of me today, but typically I'm like, ah, no sweat, just blah, uh, it's fine. frame so that's perfect probably <laughs> okay okay and now we can get to snipping so I'm gonna snip like that so that we have a little bit extra me too, Christina. Me too. Here we stand open arms. This is holy land. Oh god, I just remembered we have to do this on the other side. I'm going to be recording a yoga segment after this for on the Vonster vlog, and uh, I, I need it, I'm just going to say. burnish that down and in and y'all I think that's as good as she's gonna get I feel a bumpy where'd the bumpy go make the bumpy go swoosh just exhaustion art attacks and an exhaustion also I should drink water um don't let it lie that wire does these things on purpose to test our crafty resolve that's a good way of looking at it you're the boss of that wire. No, this wire has definitely put me in my place. Ooh. I gotta go let that cat in. Hey, everybody. Do you see that pretty kitty? Meow. I'm gonna let the cat in. Run to the restroom a little bit. I'll be right back. Oh, God, I haven't walked in two hours. <laughs> Come on. Okay. I don't know if the camera's going to pick up on it, but the moon is rising just right there through the trees. Ah! Yep. Okay. I just wanted to share that with y'all. Of course, the phone didn't pick up on it at all, but it's very pretty. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the restroom. Uh, hey, Randy, the dogs are outside. I should be able to get them. I'm not going
Okay, I'm almost back, guys. Give me just a second. All right, we can do this. Y'all ready? Oh, howl at the moon, right? Oh, oh my gosh. It's hitting me all at once. We can do this. We're so close. <laughs> Aw, night night, Anita. Okay, we can, we can do this. We're going to zoom in on the other side. Oh, and I need to plug back in. It's the home run now, right? Yeah, this is how it looks if you snip with it on the front. Then you kind of always see that little, that little nub. And realistically, most people, like if you're at like a craft show or something, are not going to be coming through looking at your jewelry with like a jeweler's loop being like, mm, yes, I see you didn't splice in properly here, here, here. It's like, oh my God. If somebody comes up into your situation looking at your stuff like that, be like, I'm sorry, but there's a, uh, a, a fee. For just being a turd. But it, you, you must purchase the piece before uh, critiquing. Okay, so. Coming in. Over here. A big, a big thing is to go ahead and, like, I have about eight inches of wire here. So give yourself enough, like I don't have to have just a tiny little tail of wire to work with. We can actually come in here and have enough wire to comfortably splice, maybe. Yep, it makes such a difference. The, the struggle really is on this inside curve that for one, it's an inside curve, so we're fighting against all the pressure of the shoulders of the wire pressed together. But also on the other side, there's nowhere for that wire to shift to. Whereas here, it's much easier because when we add a wire, it just ticks towards the end. Yeah, anytime, Shelly. I, I really, it invigorates me and renews me as a human being to teach and get to be around and be helpful to other crafters. So thank you guys for being here. Because I've said this before and I'll say, Oh no, I spliced too far. Crap. But we'll just come in on the other side. Good thing I gave myself lots of space because that lines up like friggin' perfect. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm not sorry at all, Tamara. I'm having an absolute blast. Like there, there is a such thing as like fun stress. And this is the kind of stress that's a lot of fun once it's over. Whoop. Here we stand with open arms. This is home where we are. Do, 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 do. Yeah, and then this is where I get so mad that I start throwing shoes. Oh. It's like, I know this is a ton of fun, I twitch. <laughs> I am. I am having fun. <laughs> I promise. I just ended up doing things a little backwards, but that's okay. Oh, thank goodness. Did it splice in clean? Almost. 
I mean, cleanish. Sorry, I do realize I'm wandering all over the place, but I'm swapping between eyeball mode and camera mode. I think this might be just about as good as it gets. So I've snipped, leaving that extra little bit to smoosh. I said smoosh. So I have learned a lot on this prototype for us to then apply to our final piece in the tutorial. And if you guys have any questions in particular about this, oh, <laughs> why did it just do that? I just popped it out of everything. Um, then be sure to leave the question here on this live stream and I will try my best to answer it or address it in the tutorial. Yeah, no, do it. And it's, I'm really kind of glad to be absolutely freaking struggling um, on camera here with you guys because like a lot of folks are like, oh, you make it look so easy and oh, you can do anything. And it's like, no, this stuff really is hard, you guys. Like if you're having a, a rough time with it, that's normal. <laughs> like, um, you know, don't go comparing yourself to an edited structured video. Oh, and I feel like I've just goobied everything up. <sighs> yeah, I shouldn't, uh, here we go again. <laughs> I want to do it right. Cause it honestly, it might not matter to anybody else, but when you're the, you're the one making your own piece and it matters to you, that's what matters. Okay, but now I know that I started my splice way too early on. <laughs> right on Tamara. Okay, so I'm going to start splicing in way sooner. That's a little too way sooner. Yes. Yeah, that's splicing in nice and clean. Again, because it's got some place to go. Like you can almost see it tick over, like. Well, that one didn't tick as well, but maybe this one will. Just. Nope. It's not ticking in my hands cramping to hold it that way. There it goes. Oh, and we've got a delightful little kink in the wire. I hate those. Whenever we get them, I try to unbend them the way that they came. And then I take my wire and I just try to flatten it out as much as I can. So now we're going to do the single splice. Focusing first on making sure that it splices in well at the base. There we are. This is perfect because it's not lining up with the same spot as before. <gasps> and it's spliced in. Oh yeah. This is getting good. Okay. Maybe. 
you bring it over and around. We want to make sure that our wire is splicing in and that we have enough space. There it goes. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I ripped it out to redo it because now it is like coming out almost perfect. I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but renewed vigor. We have our second wind. I feel like one of the uh, sports announcers. <laughs> Ooh, uh, Tamara says, can't wait to see the necklace or will you just chain it? I don't know. I really want to make some like super extra fabulous lampwork glass um, beads to go along the neckline with this, but we'll have to see how that goes. Okay, how do I make that comfortable? Whoop! But it's broke. The wire broke. It's fine. <laughs> well, I guess that's how we get that to do that, is we just, we just break it. <laughs> But that was fine. That was perfect. Of all the times for it to break, that was, I do think, ideal. So I've snipped it again with just enough for us to be able to carefully smarsh. So we can just kind of smush and burnish in and hide that little piece. And now from here, we can take this. Well, hey, pretty kitty. What is up with you? And there we are. We have... Mm, it's not smush. We must re-smush. The re-smushing. now the wire has decided oh my gosh I absolutely love that <laughs> and there's the back so this was based off of I want to pull up the laptop so I can show you guys did the battery die no okay Give me just a sec to load it up. I'm going to try to do this. Well, that's fine. <laughs> Isn't that just how gravity works? Um, okay, my super duper high tech. Um, oops. So it's based off of this tutorial here. So this is the design. How do I click and drag? That's clearly the wrong way. Okay. I'm still learning how to use a computer. So our old tutorial was using a resin bobble, but the new tutorial and kit is using a glass bobble. And this is the design that we go through step by step. So there you can see them again, kind of side by side. The different designs which i do really love i would have loved to have been able to incorporate a little bit of that um no this one this is both of these are mine this is just from years ago <laughs> so but uh used to we sold the kits and it had like little segments of wire like that was all the wire that you got with the old kit that little bit right there whereas now you'd be getting Two full spools so you can make significantly more the glass is I feel like so much higher quality than the um, the resin because it's not gonna yellow over time it does not scratch up so easily it's super durable um, the back is very smooth 
And so this is what our tutorial looks like. That we have the PDF for sale, but we also have the um, the actual video itself is up. Give me just a sec. I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, so if we come to, ah, there we go. If we come to our website and here, you can click on our shop tab, like just that button right there, if it'll load. And we have our drop down menu at the very top. That is, um, let's join our club. This is our shop. We have the patterns and templates are right here. And I think the PDF for this, we have not even added, you have to go to the second page. We haven't even added a picture for it yet. So it's right there, but that's the PDF. And if you get the kit, which is um, craft materials, and you go over to kits and boxes, selling on Amazon, mm, no, <laughs> not yet. Um, we have it, again, it needs a picture, but we have it down here. It's the wire wrapped bobble kit. And that is all of the stuff for this. Plus you get a 100% off coupon voucher for the PDF. And you can make your own stuff. So that is that. And that's the land we were looking at. But so that is kind of what we were we were doing and I wanted to kind of to bring back those craft along kits because some folks are very very and I, I guess I should call them project kits it's not a craft along kit it's a project kit because our regular craft along kits are like what all y'all who are currently in our craft along club that's what we send out every month is it's just the same materials like the same wire and the same cabs that we use for you to you know kind of creatively challenge yourself and oh and freezer wood cuts um and uh, without any kind of like real structure whereas these project kits are specifically for this is the tutorial that we wrote these are the different things that you can do with it this is like much more specific because some people do better with a little bit more structure um and some people just want to do whatever they want to do so that's where that's coming from but oh this was a heck of a doozy <laughs> um and i cannot wait to hmm, maybe in our next live stream maybe make the actually our next live stream is going to be a craft along a thon uh where we're doing we'll be selling grooved wire wrapped or uh grooved crystals that you can either purchase as is and wire wrap yourself or you can uh, purchase a custom wire wrap job and we will wrap it on the air for you. So that'll be pretty cool. Right on. It's, uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that if I can get a bunch of PDF tutorials and kind of kits put together that it will give me a structure that we can then have a wire wrapping beginner to master book that is just from everything from making your wire wrapped bead links to doing I, to me this feels like it's an intermediate possibly intermediate borderline advanced project it's not the most the most complicated thing that an advanced wire wrapper can do but splicing is hard <laughs> for me splicing is really hard so um that's definitely something that it's like you don't spring splicing on a beginner wire weaver or wire wrapper so i'm hoping that by doing these smaller projects um by the end of a year or maybe even two years we'll see how it goes because if i'm able to do a project a month then or more realistically a project every other month because it is quite a bit of work doing the write-up and getting all the pictures and everything then um by the end of two years, we'll have a book of 12 projects that takes you from beginner and on. And if we could have an accompanying kit, like, that you can get that has, like, all the tools, all the wire, all the groovy cabs and the baubles, and it's, like, kind of like a kit that goes along with the book. I'm like, wouldn't that be nice? Um, 
Do you know about the great bead extravaganza? I do not. What is that? Hmm. Well, thank you so much, Rhonda. Splicing sucks, says Tara. Yeah, but it's good to know how to do it. It's better to avoid at all costs. <laughs> ah, thank you so much, Tara. Thank you. I'll have to watch the replay. Say hello to Wandy. Wandy! Okay, says hi. Hey. He says hey. <laughs> But thank you guys so much just for being you and for being here and hanging out with me. And um, we will see you in Sunday's tutorial. I'm not going to lie. It's a short one. But after yesterday's like three and a half hour long tutorial, that is a bit all right. <laughs> but about how many projects for my macrame books. Right on. A group of creatives that do beetle and projects a couple times here. Ooh, now that'd be cool. Like we wanted to put together a camp craft along that was at like a lodge out in the woods, but then the Rona. <laughs> but that's fine. It's probably fine. I'd still like to get that put together. Or at least all of us like storm the William Holland retreat and just sign up for all the classes over there and then just go take classes together. <laughs> like that'd be super cool. Um, Oh, thank you, J Max. It was the from the broken um, cabochon like tutorial that I had done with polymer clay. I'm test wearing it, and that like faux moss that we glued on works really well. Uh, thank you guys so much again for hanging out. Um, we'll see you next time. So until then, happy crafting. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>